We're in the 1% though. That goes from north to south in a single day. That's epic. Check this out, guys. Look at this sick view. Are you ready? Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's Triple P. How you guys doing? In this video, I'm out in New Hampshire looking for the oldest geocache. Let's roll the footage. All right, guys, we've made it to Mine Falls Park at the Lincoln Park entrance right here in New Hampshire. So you know what that means. That means we're going for the state oldest cache. This is a October 2009. The oldest cache in New Hampshire. Which is why we're gonna get it. And uh, it is across the bridge, which is right here. It is 0.32 miles from the parking lot. Bonus information to know before you go, park closes at 10 o'clock. So, take advantage of that however you want. I'm taking advantage of it because it's 7.15 at night. All right, we got a little body of water action right there. According to the map, you're gonna go across the bridge like I did. Then you're going to follow the paved path, which is what I'm walking on now, all the way to the second bridge, but don't cross the second bridge. Because if you cross the second bridge, you'll be on the wrong side of the water. The paved trail is pretty easy to walk, and you're gonna take it to the towpath trail, which is the trail that veers off just before you get to the bridge. Again, you don't wanna cross the bridge. So we're gonna find this cache, and it will give me another state oldest. This is the second bridge. If you go across that bridge, you're gonna be on the wrong side of the water. The geocache is down the towpath trail, which is this way. So here we go. This basically just walks parallel. This is gorgeous, look at this. It walks parallel to whatever water source this is. I don't know the name of that body of water. I'm obsessed, I'm literally obsessed. Look how great this is. You want more footage? Here it is. <laughs> okay guys, we're off on another trail. The towpath trail is literally right up there. We had to come down here because the towpath trail does not take you where you need to go. You'll have to hop off at it at some point and kind of follow this little trail here that does a couple loop-de-loops, little spinnery dick gear doos and it's gonna land you pretty close to ground zero. We have 148 feet to go. I'm gonna take the cut through here. It's gonna save me some time, then I'm gonna turn right. And now, it looks like the cache may be down in the gully. Let's go check out the gully. Here we go. Okay, this is ground zero. Once you go down that little steep embankment, this is ground zero. It almost looks like a campsite over this way. It's not underneath there. It's kind of where I thought it would be. Let's go check. Is it over here? No. The hunt continues. Let's find it. Whoa, there's always two sides to every story. Check this out. So I looked here and underneath here, I swooped it out. There was a picture of this lady standing with the cactus tree right there in the background. And then it had these little spikes coming up on it from right here. And I was like, no way, no way. So then I forgot to check over here. And sure enough, boom. -ah. There's actually two caches in here. There's this one. And there is one further in, which is this one. Yes. Disaster and panic averted. Whew. All right. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for me right out here in New Hampshire. If you're not a geocaching with Triple P subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So you can help me reach my sub goal of 320 subs. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.